Hi, my name is Hattie. We're in the Upper West Side of Manhattan in my family's rent-stabilized apartment. I pay $1,300 a month. When people come over, they are like, whoa, this is so big. And then if they don't know how much I pay, they need to sit down after I tell them. Um, so it's interesting to see people's reactions. I think most people come over and they're like, this feels like I'm living in another time. My parents moved into this apartment in 2002. We took over the lease from a family friend. And then when my parents retired and moved out of the city in 2018, I was able to have the lease switched over into my name. Right now we're standing in my foyer. Um, this is obviously the entrance to my home. And I've done a lot of work in this space. I recently painted it this slate color. I was really nervous about having it a different color than the hallway. I thought it would look weird, but I'm really happy I did because I think it's a great way to define the space and make it feel like its own room rather than just an entryway. And growing up, this space, as all the spaces did, looked very different. Um, my mom had it painted yellow. This is a really special piece. Um, this was my grandparents' First piece of furniture I believe that they bought together um, as a couple. They used to live in a little log cabin in Kentucky. I created a little gallery wall here. I actually added this molding. Most molding in my apartment is original, but this actually I don't believe would have been the original wall because this apartment was originally combined with the one next door. So I believe this wall was added kind of as an afterthought. So I wanted to give it the molding to give it the character that the rest of the apartment has. Over here, this is my front door. Um, you know, it used to just be a boring metal door and we put up some wallpaper, which was a very frustrating project cutting around all these little locks and bolts, but I like it and it's fun and I painted the door frame white to kind of make it stand out more as a piece of art and not just a door. I am a special education teacher by day and by night I am an interior designer and Instagram blogger where I share my DIY projects of my apartment, my designs, and also just New York City lifestyle. Right now we are standing in my library slash sitting room slash work from home room. Before this room was any of that, this was my childhood bedroom growing up. So I had purple walls. I believe I had pink gingham curtains, pink rugs, pink everything. Um, it was a sight for sore eyes. So it took me a little while to kind of rework it into something that I really enjoy. But I think now it might be my favorite room in the whole apartment. I love these white bookshelves. They're eight feet tall. I love how they're super modern and minimal. So they kind of blend into the wall and let the objects on them really make a statement. And I also didn't want to compete too much with the moldings. So now we are standing in my living room. I think this room is probably one of the most dramatically changed spaces. And that is because on either side, there are two sets of these pocket doors. Um, growing up, believe it or not, these pocket doors had been covered with a wall and there was like a built-in shelf situation. I'm not entirely sure why someone would want to cover up such magnificent pocket doors, but I believe they probably maybe were renting rooms and wanted to create more division between rooms. This room feels so different and so much more opened up. So much more light can come in because now it's getting light from all sides. Um, I call it optional open concepts because I can have the doors open um, or I can have them closed to create more of a cozy feel. You gonna help Beatrice? <laughs> So another favorite thing that Beatrice wants to show you in this room is our TV. Because of opening up the pocket doors, there is not a logical place to put the TV. So I knew that the only place I could have a TV was up on the mantle and having just a black box up there didn't seem right to me. So I invested in a Samsung frame TV, which when it's off, it just goes into art mode and you can choose the art that you want. I get a lot of free online downloads and I change it as often as I want. So seasonally I change it and it's just awesome. 
I have two fireplaces. They are both original. So the gas was turned off, I believe, back in the 70s. Um, but I put candles in one. I put fairy lights in my other one to give that ambiance. And this is just sticky tiles. Underneath are the original tiles. The original tiles were yellow porcelain tiles, which were beautiful, but very cracked, very dirty and discolored. So I just slap some sticky tiles up on top and it's nice to know that the original tires are still there if I ever want to see them again. This is my bedroom. This used to be my parents room um, but it's the bigger bedroom so I turned it into mine. Originally this apartment was combined with the one next door. So all of the bedrooms would have actually been next door and so this originally would have been the dining room which I think accounts for the fireplace and it also being right off the kitchen. Um, I painted it this dark flat navy color um, and I kept all the wainscoting, trim work, doors white because I wanted a contrast and I also just wanted one dark room without it being too overwhelming. This fireplace, just like the other one, is just contact paper. The original tiles were dark red um, ceramic that was made to look like bricks. So I covered it up with marble just to brighten it up a bit. I sourced this mirror um, online and I painted it white to match. I really wanted it to blend in and look original. So I found one that was kind of square and with lines and I think it looks like it goes pretty well. So coming over here, we are in the back area of the apartment. Right now we are standing in my little baby kitchen. This is the one part of my apartment which is very true to most New York City apartments and that's that I have a tiny kitchen. What are you missing in here? So I do not have a dishwasher, um, but that's okay. I've never had a dishwasher so I don't really know what I'm missing. What's the trick for not letting dishes pile up? Um, I do not like doing dishes, so when I have people over, I say I'll do the cooking if you do the cleaning, <laughs> but just, you just gotta do them right away. <laughs> so coming out of the kitchen, we come into the pantry, or some people would call it a butler's pantry, and I love this area. It's just as old school as you can get. These cabinets are original and they provide me with a lot of storage space for all my china and things. This pantry area used to be painted white and I must have seen a picture on Instagram of a green small space or pantry and I just thought that would be really cool. Um, I love having dark colors in small spaces. I think a lot of people are afraid to do that but I actually think it creates more depth I chose a glossy paint to be able to reflect the light and just make the space seem bigger. Here is a really cool feature that you do not see anymore these days. This is a dumb waiter. Um, it's no longer functioning. As you can see, they bolted it up, I believe, back in the 70s and 80s when New York was a pretty dangerous place. Um, there was a string of robberies in the building and people accessed other apartments via the dumbwaiter. So it's been closed up, but I just love knowing that it's here. So back here is the least exciting part of the apartment. It's their one bathroom, very small, very New York City kind of bathroom. But, you know, it does its job. This has totally been a canvas and just my creative outlet for the past nearly three years. It's been like my therapy. I've just spent nights, weekends, vacations just here working on this place and designing it exactly how I want. Thanks for watching. For more homeworthy content, be sure to like and subscribe.